Today on What It's Like, totally different type of episode. This one's going to be considered a pocket episode on the 2000 Firebird Trans Am WS6. What was the Trans Am WS6? Basically, it was an option that gave you RAM error in a handling package. So WS6 does not stand for anything in particular. It's not an acronym or an abbreviation for something else. Like GT stands for Gran Turismo or Gran Tour. WS6 doesn't really stand for anything. It's just a code similar to the Camaro Z28. Anyway, the Trans Am WS6 was marketed against the Ford Mustang SVT or shoppers could cross shop with the Camaro Z28. This car is fast, zero to 60 in five seconds, quarter mile in 13 and a half seconds at 107.4 miles per hour. Under the hood sits a 5.7 liter, 350 cubic inch displacement V8 pumping out 320 horsepower, 345 foot pounds of torque. The engine is mated to a six speed manual transmission. Base price for the WS6 Back in 2000 was $31,540, which is equivalent to you spending $54,363.09 today. I love this steering wheel. I love how thin it is right here and how it gets more chunky down towards the end. Take it up on the freeway and see how she does. All right, this is a pull from second gear. I'm gonna putt putt it down here and then then hit it. So we're going about 30 miles an hour now. transmissions especially in the Dodge Challengers uh, driving a new Dodge Challenger you're looking for where is the gear there's none of that in this all right so we're gonna start from first we're gonna stop Thing. This, this thing's amazing. This might be 
not in early 2000 anyway. And yes, somebody might say, oh, they made the Ford GT. Don't forget about the Ford GT. Ford GT is a good car, but I mean, I guess they made the Carrera GT and all those other cars, but this is a Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. This car is an exception. This car is absolutely incredible. Before we conclude, I want to talk about this car. Honestly, it's been a week or two since I shot this, and I and it's still one of the best cars that I've ever driven. It's better than the Cobra, the Factory 5 Cobra that I've driven. It's mind-blowing how good this is. The gearbox is brilliant. It's not notchy. The gears are properly spaced apart. The clutch feel in the engagement is perfect, and I'm not a huge fan of the styling of this car. It's a bit over the top for me. In the interior, there are parts that look like a lesser Pontiacs, like I mentioned the Pontiac Sunfire. Lots of cheap plastics inside, but if you can look past that, this is an amazing car. Not only is it fast, but it's stable at speed, and it's also smooth and straight, and honestly, this is one of the most underrated cars of the 2000s. It just doesn't get the credit that it deserves for what it is. All right, now it's time for Name That Tune. First person to give me the correct name of the band as well as song title correctly will have their comment pinned to the top of the comment section. Thank you all so much for coming out and watching this short pocket episode. Tell me what you think in the comment section below and be sure to hit that like button so more people can see this video in the future. And until next time, until tomorrow, there'll be a full length video of a 50s car coming your way. But until that time comes, uh, toodaloo!